Hello, in this tutorial we are going to look at how to create 3D game objects in Unity 3D. So I have already um, created and opened my project here, so if you're not sure how to do that, then go back to the previous tutorial on getting started with Unity. Um, so you can create a whole range of different 3D objects in Unity, such as cubes, um, spheres, cylinders, things like that. If you're wanting to make advanced um, characters, like really detailed characters or objects like houses um, for your games, then it's really best to do that in another program, in a proper 3D modeling program such as um, Maya. And if you're wanting to do that, I'll show how to do that in the next tutorial. But in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to um, build some basic objects, different shapes. So you can still create basic characters and objects like houses uh, in Unity. And you can also um, import lots of different objects from the Unity website. You can download different assets and add them to your project. Um, but really in Unity you don't have a lot of um, power and control over making objects. You can just make pretty basic objects. So we'll look at how to do that in this tutorial and then the following one we'll look at how to make more advanced um, characters and objects for your game. So to create a new object, you can either click on the game object menu up the top here, or you can click on create underneath the hierarchy here as well. Okay, so if you click on game object, you'll see that you can create an empty object. Um, you've got a few options here like 3D object, 2D object, light, and audio. Um, you can also create a camera. So we'll be looking at lighting and cameras in future tutorials. Today we'll just look at how to create 3D objects. So I'm going to create a few different 3D objects. So firstly, a cube. All right, I'll grab my move tool up here and just move that across. I'll create a sphere. Just move that there. I'll create a capsule. Move that over there and create a cylinder. And lastly, we'll create a plane. We won't worry about any of these other things here. We'll be looking at things like terrain and trees um, in future tutorials. So um, we'll just create a plane. Okay, so um, if you're not sure how to zoom in and out and move around, navigate, in Unity, then make sure you go back to the previous tutorial, getting started in Unity. Um, okay, but basically we've got four, five different objects here. We've got a cube, a sphere, um, a cylinder, a capsule, and a plane. Now, to move these around, it's pretty easy. We just grab the move tool here, and then we can move them on different axes. So I'm moving it on the Z axis now, this plane. Move it on the X axis and the Y axis. So Z there, X there, and Y there. And you'll notice that when I drag these different handles, that their values on position under the transform, the values also change there. So if I move it on the X handle there, the value of X also changes over here. And I can just type in a specific value there if I want. Okay. If I want to resize this plane, I can just grab the um, scale tool there and I can either scale it on different axes like that. Okay, so I could change that from a square to being more of a rectangle. Um, but remember, it's a plane, so you can't really change um, the thickness here. If you're wanting to have like a thick object like a thick rectangle, then you should really create a cube and then modify that um, to become a rectangle. Okay, however, um, so I can change those values there. Remember, I can also change the values there for scale as well. So just like changing the values for position manually here by typing them in, you can also change it for scale as well. All right. Um, okay. Rotation as well. If we grab the rotation tool there, we can rotate our plane around. 
I'm rotating it on the Y axis right now by grabbing that yellow handle right there. If I grab this red handle, I'm now rotating it on the X axis. And if I grab this blue one, I'm rotating it on the Z axis. Okay, all of the objects that I've created show up here in the hierarchy. So all of the objects for the current scene are visible there in the hierarchy. Notice so that they're not visible in the assets panel. So they're not actually like files um, that will exist in a folder, like a um, like terrain or like textures um, or you know models that have been imported. These are just game objects that are relevant to this current scene. They'll show up in the hierarchy here. Okay, if I go and create textures for these objects, then the textures or materials will show up down here. Um, and that's what I will be doing in one of the next tutorials. We're looking at textures and materials. Okay, now with, um, with the scale, we just have a look at the scale tool and go to this cube, just pan across. With the scale tool, so I mentioned you can scale on different sides so we could stretch this cube out to become more of a rectangular prism. Um, but if I just undo that, Command Z, we can also scale by clicking on that little box in the middle there and dragging that in and out. And that will keep the object same scale. So um, it will uniformly scale and resize this object. Okay, so it's very good if you want to resize a sphere, then just grab it from the middle. Okay, and notice over here that all of the values for X, Y, and Z are the same on scale. Okay, when you create objects, it's a good idea to rename them. Um, so firstly, I might just delete this plane or get that out of the way. So I can just click on the plane um, and I can go over to the hierarchy here on the plane, sorry, over in the hierarchy and delete it, which might not work on the keyboard. So if we just right click and we can click on delete. Okay, so just um, move this sphere over a bit. Now, say if I was going to have this sphere as like a beach ball in my game, then I can click over here and rename it there to beach ball. Okay, it's really up to you how you name your objects. I think it's a good idea to use camel case or just um, one word, or you can start in a capital letter. It's up to you. Just remember with things like scripts, they can't have any spaces in the name. So it's just a good idea to get in the habit of creating objects and files that don't have any spaces and that are named in the same fashion across the entire game, or across the entire project. Okay, so now, um, oops, did I actually change that? Beach ball, hit enter. So just remember to hit enter or return after you change the name there. And over in the hierarchy, it's also changed there. Now, what if I wanted to actually start making an object out of different shapes? Well, what I can do is I can move, move this cube over here. Um, I can just push it inside that sphere and then lift it up. Just uh, pan around here. Move that to somewhere in the middle. And we could actually um, make sure that it was right directly above this sphere by changing the values, the position values on there as well. So we can manually type in the values there. So for um, Y here, we could change that to five. Z, we could change that to minus 16. Um, X, we could change to 10. Okay, so 10, five, minus 16. So we could click on the cube, could change X to 10, could change Y to five, and Z to minus 16. Now, if we just move that straight up, it should be right in the middle of that sphere, directly above it. Okay, so now if we wanted to make this an object, um, we wanted to actually make this one object with different components, then basically we can grab the cube 
here and we can drag it in the hierarchy. We can drag it onto the beach ball. And now we can see why this is called hierarchy because when we click on this arrow next to beach ball, we can see cube underneath it sort of indented to the right there in the list. So this is called the parent child relationship. So the cube is now actually a child of beach ball. Beach ball is a parent of cube. So if we just click out here anyway and then click on this object here, notice that when we click on it, it highlights beach ball. But in here in the scene view, it's highlighted everything. So the beach ball and the cube. If we go and move, it's moving everything. So it's moving both components. If we scale, sorry, if we um, rotate, it's rotating both components. If we scale, it's also scaling both components. So when we click on an object, it will select its entire hierarchy um, or all the components that belong to it. If we wanted to just go back and resize this cube, then we can just click directly on the cube. So if you click on the beach ball, it's going to select everything in its hierarchy, so everything below. And if you click on the cube, it will just select the cube. You can also select your objects here in the hierarchy. All right, if you decide that you no longer want the cube to be a child of the beach ball, then you can just click and drag that out. There. So just click and drag it down to this empty area here. So you can basically, if I just undo that again so that it's back in there, you can basically have um, objects, many objects joined together. Let's just uh, move this over here. And you can have many different, um, many children um, under an object. So maybe we'll just grab this cylinder and we'll put that onto the beach ball as well. So now if we grab that beach ball, all of these objects are now connected or joined together. But we could also make the um, cylinder, we could also make that a child of the cube. So now there's the beach ball, which has a cube as a child and a cube has a cylinder as a child. So if we click on the beach ball, everything's selected. If we click on the cube, then just the cylinder and the cube are selected. And if we click on the cylinder, then just the cylinder is selected. Okay, so that's the hierarchy and that's the parent-child relationship in Unity. It's quite useful for making characters and different objects. So for example, if you wanted to create the character, then you could create the main body and then that could have children there, it could have arms, it could have legs, um, kind of eyes, um, if you created something like a house, then you could have the main um, frame of the house and then you could have the roof, you could have windows, doors. Um, so all different components, but forming one object that can be manipulated. Okay, if you decide that you want to, um, if you decide that you want to um, use this object a lot in your game you can actually um, you can actually make a prefab so what you can do is basically just drag the object down here into your assets um, assets panel here which creates what's called a prefab so this is an object that we can use again and again you know, okay, so if it was, um, you know, something like we made a tree um, or we made uh, some sort of feature that will be in the environment of our, of our game, we want many of them, then you can create a prefab and just drag them anywhere where you want in your game. So when you create a prefab, you'll notice that in the hierarchy, its text becomes blue. So we've got the main camera. We've got the directional light, we've got this capsule, this lone capsule over here, which is, they're all black, they're just game objects. But all of these ones that are now blue, those are prefabs. So if we click on um, this prefab here and we scale it, it's not going to affect all of the other prefabs there that we've made. Okay, so we can do anything that we want with that one. If we want it to go, um, so say if we, scale this up and then we decide we want it to be exactly the same as all the other prefabs then we can click on revert 
and we'll go back to what it was like before. If we decide that we want to scale this down and we also want all of the other prefabs to scale down, then we can click on apply and it will apply those properties and changes to all of the other prefabs there. If we don't like that anymore, we can click on revert again. Um, well, actually, no, we can, once you've changed it to all of the prefabs, um, it will just, yeah, it will just stay like that. So if we want to scale that up again and we want all of these scaled up, then click on apply. Okay, so that's something called prefab. So any object in your hierarchy that you um, have created in a scene here, so it's just this capsule here and this beach ball here, they only exist in this scene. But if you want to create this, these objects and use them across your game in multiple scenes, um, or you want to use them many times in a single scene, then it's a good idea to just drag them into your assets panel and create a prefab out of it. So you might spend a lot of time creating an object with all its different components. You might add materials and textures. Once you've done that, if you drag it down to this assets panel here, create a prefab, it now exists as an asset or a file in your um, project that can be used many times and um, can be manipulated in different ways. You can have different versions of that. If you have a look at the beach ball here and you click on this little arrow, it shows all of the different components as well that belong to that beach ball. Okay, so um, that's basically how to create objects um, or 3D objects and shapes in your game. We'll look at lights, we'll look at camera, um, different cameras in a future tutorial. We'll also look at how to add materials and textures to these shapes um, and also how to uh, add terrain and many different objects like trees um, to a game. All right, thanks for watching.